And a 15-year-old boy from Gungani village in Kitui County has set up a demonstration of an infinity reactor, which is a continuous flow of power and an alternative source of electricity. Jim Kim Mwendoa says the infinity reactor is more powerful than nuclear power plants and can solve the multiple blackout issues in the country. Margaret Kimathi tells us more. Whenever Jim Kim Mwendo is not studying, he's busy collecting electrical wires, batteries and magnets with the name of sorting out the blackout issue in the country, which occurs from time to time. He did research for one year and started making attempts to set up an infinity reactor. So I kept on repeating and every single time I failed, I told myself that next time I'll get it. And after about 10 attempts, I got the demonstration for the infinity reactor. Mwendo says the infinity reactor uses a dynamo and a motor to operate and has a voltage of 1500. He explains how it works. It mainly works when, when a magnet has a copper wire inside it. it has, it's wrapped around with copper wiring. When a metal passes through it, voltage is created. That voltage is taken, is taken to a converter which is converted to, from AC to DC. So after the conversion, this, this electricity goes to a resistor which is taken to the motor to continue to power the L1 infinity reactor. The Form 2 student says this alternative power supply can solve the issue of multiple blackouts that are occurring in the country. If the government embarks on this project, it will save lives, especially in hospitals where in some cases there might be a blackout and before the generators come out a life may be a life may be lost in industries in building the in processing of things manufacturing this can really help because it's an infinite power source it, it's a continuous flow of power Mondo explains that an infinity reactor which the smallest can be 20 centimeters wide and 10 centimeters long produces continuous flow of power, unlike transformers which are large in size but fail to produce enough power due to explosions. This infinity reactor has to be built in a precise way. I can't be the one who makes it. It has to be manufactured through a factory so that it can be made. If it's not made appropriately, it may explode or it may not, may, might refuse to work. Mundo says he has always dreamt of inventing unique alternative source of power supply. I drew this inspiration from watching videos online of people making things, of people succeeding in making things. And I watch a lot of movies, especially Iron Man, which has this arc reactor. This is basically an inspiration of the arc reactor. Mundo hopes to pursue mechanical engineering in university. Margaret Kimathi, NTV.